think I was probably about 15 or 16. And uh, it was my boyfriend, my boyfriend I was hanging out with. And I started smoking, I guess, because he smoked. And I thought that was the thing to do. Been smoking that long, and I'm 60 now. This year, I could really tell that I was starting to get shortness of breath more. Then in September, September 14th, I, uh, I had gotten sick. Naturally, being a smoker, when I got sick and had that cough, it's 10 times worse as it is somebody that doesn't smoke. So I got sick and I started to cough and I thought, you know what, this is it. This is it, I'm done. And I haven't had a, not even a puff since September 14th. I just made up my mind and I stopped. I did read materials that our state provides us and, and there is a lot of good reading materials and, and things, you know, it tells you what to do to try to change your habits from the old versus not smoking. I think what inspires me the most is that I know that I can't be hurting myself like I was. So I'm hoping that <clears throat> that it will extend my life. There's still times I wanted after that cup of coffee, after that meal. And my worst time for smoking was in the car. I wanted to smoke all the time. As soon as I hit that car, we're firing up. And uh, so that was my biggest challenge was getting in the car and driving without smoking. Sometimes I'll have Tootsie Rose or, and of course now that's the next thing I gotta work on is my, my wonderful size. So, you know, one thing at a time. Well, I'm not gonna be that person that can tell you now that you can smoke, quit smoking because I quit smoking. It's so easy for that person to say, you can quit smoking because I did. I know that my strength was through prayer with God more than anything. If you're on the fence and you just can't get over it, you know, reach out. To reach out to our benefits and you can get assistance or like talk to someone that quit. You have to believe in yourself and be strong.